Millions of years ago, Earth looked completely different. All the continents merge into one vibrant continent, both beautiful and terrifying. When you think of prehistoric times, you probably picture a Tyrannosaurus Rex rampaging through the jungle with razor-sharp teeth. But even before the dinosaurs, other giant creatures dominated the Earth. Welcome to the Permian. This epic story began 300 million years ago. At the time, our planet had a supercontinent, Pangaea, surrounded by a world ocean called Panthalassa. The Permian period began at the end of the Ice Age, when temperatures were much cooler than today. During the early Permian period, the Earth warmed and the environment became lush, with a wide variety of plants and insect and animal life developing rapidly. As you probably know, everything on blue marble is constantly changing. Over the next 50 million years, the Earth became increasingly hotter and drier. Ultimately, the deadliest event in Earth's history wiped out nearly everything that had ever lived here. Scientists call this event a mass extinction, the most catastrophic mass extinction the Earth has ever experienced. But before we get caught up in all this doom and gloom, I want to take you on an epic trip down memory lane. The Permian will see the emergence of some of the most incredible species to ever live on our young planet. If you could go back nearly 300 million years, you'd end up in the middle of the supercontinent Pangaea. Earth's smaller continents may collide with each other to create a giant landmass that takes up a third of the planet's surface. There might have been less oxygen in the air than there is now, but you could still breathe. Oh, and bring a jacket as it can be quite cold, with average temperatures not exceeding 4 degrees Celsius in some areas. But don't worry, things will get hot soon. At the end of the early Permian, the Ice Age ended, and Pangaea developed into a lush world. In this volcanic world, plants and animals began to flourish. Violent volcanic eruptions changed the climate, shaped the landscape, and paved the way for evolution. When large swaths of swamp forest begin to dry out, plants must adapt. These were the first plants with seeds, so-called gymnosperms, that appeared on Earth 290 million years ago. The plants carried seeds on their cones that spread like wildfire across the supercontinent. The ancient evergreen forests of the early Permian lurk something familiar. Just like today, you can see cicadas and beetles piercing and sucking on plants, and the cutest of all, cockroaches. Only these weren't the cockroaches you know today, they were cockroaches. This prehistoric pest was as large as a bird. Despite their size, cockroaches never dominated prehistoric lands, which is great news, right? No, what's even more fascinating is the wanderings of Pangaea, the now extinct ancestor of the primitive mammal Dimetrodon. This animal is both fascinating and frightening. Encountering Dimetrodon is a feast for the eyes. This ancient lizard is 5 meters long and weighs 225 kilograms. A large sail hung from his back, Scientists believe the sail helps the reptile regulate its body temperature by absorbing heat during the day and dissipating excess heat during the cooler nights. It will come at you like a crocodile, showing total menace. Dimetrodon was the apex predator of its time. Look for sharp and flat teeth that can cut and grind. During the mid-Permian, other mammal-like reptiles conquered the earth, the jets. They have powerful jaws and sharp teeth, and their posture is somewhat upright because their legs are under their bodies. Rapids range in species from the 5 meter long, possibly omnivorous Opisaurus to the carnivorous Lycosaurus five times smaller. If you stayed there for another 20 million years, you might encounter more Therocephalians. During the mid-Permian, the Earth was getting hotter. Global average temperatures in Pangaea rose to about 25 degrees Celsius, and volcanoes pumped greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Sea levels have changed due to climate change, 
but marine life has found ways to thrive. If you were to swim in a prehistoric super-ocean, you'd be swimming with ancient sharks and primitive bony fish. As the environment continues to change, many more complex marine organisms have come and gone. In the late Permian, there may have been friendly encounters with another reptile, Listosaurus. They look like a cross between a lizard and a pig, but unlike all fearsome prehistoric monsters, Listosaurus were herbivores. It is only one meter long and has powerful front legs for digging burrows. Soon, another cute mammal-like lizard, the Cynodont, evolved. Cynodont looked like a giant rodent about one meter long with a beard that fed on small animals and insects. Well, something bad is brewing in the air around this time. Massive volcanic activity displaced oxygen from the atmosphere. Scientists assumed the air contained only 10% oxygen, compared with 21% today. It is difficult to breathe in this environment and the temperature continues to rise, with the average temperature being around 28 degrees Celsius. This lush prehistoric world becomes an oven. All good things must come to an end, and unfortunately, this one turned out to be particularly brutal some 252 million years ago. Approximately 90% of plant and animal species were wiped out. This tragic moment is known as the Great Extinction, the most devastating mass extinction on Earth. Scientists are still debating what caused this catastrophic extinction. Most theories suggest this was the result of volcanic activity. As massive volcanic eruptions sweep across the continent, huge amounts of ash are released into the atmosphere. So much ash blocks most, if not all, of the incoming sunlight. Without sunlight, global temperatures suddenly drop. Plants can no longer perform photosynthesis and die, and the plants and animals that are the basis of the food chain also disappear. Things got worse before they got better as volcanic eruptions released large amounts of carbon dioxide. Global temperatures are rising again, not just to current levels but much, much higher. This caused the super-ocean to lose much of its oxygen, and many Permian marine animals died from being unable to breathe. Eventually, more than 95% of all marine species and more than 70% of land animals became extinct. This mass extinction may make you so sad that you want to resurrect every animal that has ever been extinct, including the dinosaurs, but that's a story for another video.